Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Well, Blake, we're going to have to battle wind and rain, but we're up in Sturgeon Bay at my favorite place, Sand Bay Beach Resort, and we're going to fish smallmouth with who? Dale Strohshine. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful. Oh, is that awesome? Holy! Holy! Crazy. Oh my God! Oh, yes! Honestly, a fight I've never felt before. Yes, folks, a cool, foggy October morning, and I always make it a point to get up here in October to fish with Dale and, and fish for smallmouth bass out of Sand Bay Beach Resort. October's kind of a good month and a bad month. It can be tough, right? You know, it's probably one of the best months to fish. You know, if you're looking for trophy smallmouth other than May, uh, May would be very similar. The downside of October is, you know, this year we've got a typical fall, meaning that it's going to bring in north winds, which are going to bring in the cooling temperatures. And uh, so it's been quite challenging, I would say, at this point. Um, for us as guides on the bay to even, you know, be out because we've had big winds and it just doesn't quit. Uh, okay, and Blake will catch a smallmouth today too? Definitely. All right, hey folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's river blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Wear for the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. Using chemical-free cooling technology, our Shade and Eclipse series is designed with unique fabric to wick moisture away, as well as create pockets for air to keep you cool. Whether on the boat or on the dock, choose Blackfish, because you can choose the weather. Blackfishgear.com. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose-built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next-level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks. I'll tell you what, we got some pretty decent waves out here today, Dale. And, ooh, get that let's see out? here, buddy. Oh, yeah, nice bass to start our day, Dale. That's a beauty, buddy. What kind of structure do you look for this time of year, buddy? If we got some wind, you know, I'm going to get up shallower, OK? You want to be on rock? If we've got, if it's calm, many of times, they can be both places, okay. you know, so they can be a little shallow and they can be out a little deeper. Um, the other thing that I kind of use a lot is if we got some wind, you know, go with things that you can throw and retrieve, you know, as far as like hard body baits. Right. And if it gets a little still, you know, drop shotting, more plastics are generally going to be, you know, to your advantage. That's just a couple of casts later, right? Yeah, this is a big fish, John. Ooh, okay. All right, buddy. This is a big All fish. Right. Take I, your time, I, man. Take your time. I got it on a bait that I'm not so sure how well they stay hooked up. The last one came <laughs> flying out and almost got Caleb in the face. Oh, is that a nice one, Dale? There That's you go, pal. Fish. And crankbaits, interesting. You know, you and I haven't done a lot of crankbait. Yeah, for bass. I normally, you know, I mean, it's something I go to once in a while. I was just trying something different, you know, and that's the key, you know, to being, and I'm not saying I'm a great fisherman, but that's the key to being a good fisherman is trying to do things. You know, many of times we get so caught up in just doing the same thing over and over again. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to think outside the box and, you know, do some different things if you want to put a great day together. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know, you've been catching fish faster than me lately, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they're fun, those smallies. 
And here it comes, and we got our, look at that guy there. All right, Blake. Not bad, kind of small. Oh, no, that's not bad. You know, on a day like today, when you got waves like this, any bait or any fish is a good one, right? Yeah, and you know I love bass fishing, so. Yeah, and smallies, they're pretty. And, and Caleb, so it appears that it's a crankbait day, buddy. So far, yeah. Yeah, and now, it, should I try like a Kalen's grub or something like that? I mean, you, retrieve? you could almost retrieve a grub. That would probably work too. Good job, Blake. Thank you. What are you doing up there, man? You're the star of the show today, buddy. Now, you're running that near the bottom, Dale? Yeah, I'm trying to, John. I'm doing. You're right All right, here he is. Give us one look. Nice job. Ooh, that's a nice one, Dale. But you, how do you run a crankbait near the bottom in 14 feet of water? Run it real slow? Real slow. So it's kind of like watching paint dry, you know, with the, with the, with the technique, you know. So, oh. but uh, we're going to find some better ones here yet. But oh. these are all good quality fish They're so all, far. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, another hey, one to hey, Way to go, Blake a Rooney. <laughs> Ooh, this one's a little bit better. This here he comes. And... There you go, Blake. Hey, you know what? You're just quietly fishing there, isn't she, Caleb? Keeping everything, yeah, I'm in stealth mode. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you hear fish. This one's yeah, that's nice about it. Aren't they pretty too, the colors? Yeah. Now, how do you like the waves, though? It's a little wavy, but it's not too bad. You know, we're having a good time. So you're just kind of casting out and doing what with that? I'm going very, very slow. Dale said to go very slow, so. And listen to the guide, right? Yep. No, that's that's a nice bass right there, Blake. Yeah. Hey, Caleb's going to get on the board now. Oh, All right, way bad. to go there, Caleb. Any size there, guys? Yeah, feels like a good fish. All right. All right, man. And there you go. Hey, Caleb. Good fight. You know, I, I'm, I've been trying seven different baits back here, Dale, and I refuse to use what you're using. That's not a very good uh, this, situation this is a big for fish, me. John. Oh, yeah, there you go, buddy. Now, what was that on, Dale? Uh, that's called a, a Ned Rig. A Ned Rig, okay. Yeah, so but, a little uh, different program, a Ned Katie. Uh, Ned Katie was a guy that kind of designed that. I know a lot of people have, you know, claimed to have started it. I know uh, Gary Parsons back in the day, you know, started off with a little worm with Berkeley, you know, and stuff. And so there's a lot of guys that had that same concept, you know, but just for different species. But uh, it works well, you know, throughout the year. It's a, a good presentation. And nice you fish, fish that off the bottom? Yeah. Hey, hey, there we go. Caleb, buddy, you're hooked up now. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> not a big one. But Dale, yeah, you know, when nice you fish, get into, um, you know, early November, can you still catch these fish? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, in, in August, I got a seven, uh, four, eight. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, yeah. Seven pounds? Yeah, wow. seven point four. And that was on August 1st. But in November, you can do well, too, huh? Well, that's when you're going to get your big, you know, some of the big, big ones, you know, I mean, because they're going to be putting on that feed bag, you know? Well, look at the tummy on that one. I yeah. mean, that Caleb, that one's been eating that anybody. Yeah, I mean, this fish is probably, what, 13, uh, probably closer to 15 inches, but the belly on it, like you just said, John, it's pretty big. <laughs> okay, I'm boys, <laughs> don't be afraid. This is your first time in three to four foot waves. Now, we're trying to smallmouth fish today, but, but you're a little scared? Yeah, um, I think I'm ready to go in. <laughs> well, actually, we're trying to head in right now. Whoa! <laughs> Kind of like <laughs> a roller coaster. I'm ready. <laughs> we'll make it. Keep going. Keep going. Yay! Well, Maddie B, you picked the right day to be here. We literally got blown off yesterday. I'm so glad that you called and I got the invite to come up on a beautiful day today. Well, big waves yesterday, Dale, and it really hindered the bait presentation. Today we get, we got some rain coming today, but we got not so high winds. We should do okay. Yeah, I, you know, I certainly think so. I mean, whenever you go out, um, you know, in the Sturgeon Bay area, uh, you, you've always got an opportunity not only at some, you know, decent numbers of fish, but the great thing about this spot is you've always got a shot at a fish of a lifetime, whether it be walleye, bass, northerns, whatever. 
Well, hey, got to talk a little bit about the beauty of this time of year. It is spectacular, isn't it, in the Sturgeon Bay area, the fall colors? Yeah, I mean, fall again is probably one of my favorite times of the year, seeing that, you know, this is a time that really many of the guys and gals are in the woods now, and I pretty much have this playground to myself. And the beauty. <laughs> and the colors. Yeah. Just out the color right now is just tremendous. Again, one of my favorite times of the year. All right, well, I got two bass experts, and we got Blake so we'll catch some fish i hope i think we might all right i can't believe how slow you were working that bait dale yeah that is unbelievable Ooh, there we go way Phil, out Phil way, Deason? At, way out there in that deep water yeah that's what we got landing at john's right uh here okay this is a good fish i think oh we're gonna see this fish pretty well that's this, a, this, this dude's actually taking drag this could be a real big fish folks this could be a real big fish. Ooh, well, what got, do you think? We, we got color. What's that? <laughs> we got color. Okay, buddy. All right. Here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Shot. Look at this. This is a walleye coming in. Is that right? That, look wait. at that. Look at that walleye, Dale. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I thought we were smallmouth bass fishing. Yeah, the wonder he knocked the socks off. It. Look at that, folks. Isn't that a gorgeous yeah, fish? That's a nice fish. And that was on that uh, Ned rig again. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the first one I've caught. Hold them you know, up high, yeah. And just an FYI, you know, when people handle fish, you know, always make sure that I see many, and the only reason I'm bringing this up, many times I'll hand a fish to a customer, and John, people want to stick their finger up right. in here. You always got to come up in here because if you damage any of their gill plates right here, you're going to kill the fish. So it's, it's important. And then, you know, with walleyes too, I mean, you got to remember, they've got a lot of teeth. Right. So you can't lip them like a smallmouth and make sure you don't get your finger in too far. I see that a common practice where guys stick their whole finger. I always tell everybody, just hook your finger like this and then grab them like so, and that's that's the easiest way to handle well, these fish. Well, make up your mind now. Are we walleye fishing or bass fishing? <laughs> no wonder it felt so big. I'm like, man, this guy's really digging. Yeah, nice, nice so fish. We'll though. let this one go, though. The brand new and updated Amsoil Midwest Fishing Report is now available. For up-to-date video fishing reports from all over the Midwest, go to amsoil.com slash MFR. That's amsoil.com slash MFR. We were fishing Door County out of Sand Bay Beach Resort, a two and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, three and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. Excellent. Oh, there's a nice, good one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at how he ate that, he too. Ate that Google Eye jig. This is the Google Eye. It's available in a live bait series and then a long hook shank series. And what we did is we took a glass rattle and built it into the middle of the round jig head and just bouncing it and hits the bottom. That glass rattle's rattling and it's sending off vibration in this dirty water in this river. And that's the result right there. This one's coming home with me. Fleet Farm has everything you need for every season of life. Whether it's I'll fix it myself season or finally time for warmer Carhartt season. Get what you need for nothing beats an after school snack season. Say goodbye 1970s family room season. And even mornings are getting brisk season. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Folks, on a cold fall day, there is nothing better than Johnsonville. And when you fish with me, what do you always look forward to? Lunch break. Yeah, and today we got something that you really like, and I know your family does too. Johnsonville Mild Italians. And on a day like today, when fishing's not real quick, I take my time, put them on the grill, cook them low and slow on medium heat. Johnsonville Mild Italians, and you know what? They're great for football games, buddy. Wow. Love that perfect kick it has to it. Yep. And that Je sausage flavor. Hey folks, look for Johnsonville Italians at your grocer today.
Well, the nice thing about October, uh, folks, in Wisconsin is you get all different kinds of weather. Yesterday we had, of course, the big waves, and today uh, we got rain. Blake, how are you? Oh, you're putting, I'm putting your... on my <laughs> rain gear. <laughs> I think you need your rain gear today. No, yeah. she's coming down, but uh, I actually like I this better than the big waves. Yeah, and at least it's not cold. Not yet. Right? But Dale, does uh, rain like this bother the smallmouth fishing? I don't think so, but it bothers me. <laughs> had enough of this stuff for it to last me a lifetime between the wind and the rain. Hey, Manny B, way What's to go, that? buddy. The What's rain's that? slowing down a little bit. The wind has picked up. What do you think? Oh, love smallmouth. Can't get enough of them. All right, let's see how big this guy yeah, is. Feels like a good fish. Well, like Dale said, these they're big fish this time of year. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh, that's a nice bass. Oh, there yeah. we go. Look at the size of that thing, Dale. It's a big one. Dale, look at the size of that jobber, buddy. That is a beautiful yeah. smallmouth bass. Hey, Strobo, I'll tell you what, persistence pays off, doesn't it, yeah, buddy? Yeah, you got that right. That's a big one. That's, that's a beautiful that's, fish, Matty B. Yes, well, it is, John. It's a strong four plus. Yeah, that is. That's gorgeous. And you working that real slow? Yeah, John. Dale, just pull us up on a really fast break right here with a whole bunch of rock and just pull it a couple feet, stop it, pull it a couple feet, and... Uh, I'll tell you what, eighth ounce Google Eye, chartreuse loves. Yeah, smallmouth loves chartreuse. Take so. the hook out. I want to actually talk about that. Yeah. And then Dale has been just creaming fish on that kind of a rig. Ooh, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Hold them out one more time, Matt. Yeah. Look we'll get things. organized here. Beautiful fish, buddy. Thank you. I'll tell you what, Matt. Dale has had great success with the Ned rig, and and a lot of people say, well, what the heck? is a Ned rig. Right. And uh, basically, what is it, buddy? Yeah, you take any type of stick worm and you cut it to about three inch length. Okay. And then you fish it on a small jig head. I have an eighth ounce Google head on here, but you pretty much want to stay eighth ounce down to a sixteenth when you fish this technique. Even in this heavy a wind? Yep, you got to be patient, you got to fish it slow. Now, of course, the Google eye's got a little rattle in there and uh, that really drives bass nuts. Oh yeah, it? I mean when I tie it on it gives me a little extra confidence that I have something different down there making noise. And again that's a Google Eye jig and that's just a wacko worm folks that he just kind of took three inches off. Yeah, two, three just, inches yep, off. That's, what you, that's what you need. Nice fish. How are you holding up up there in these conditions buddy? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, been, a, been a crazy day. You know we started out pretty much flat calm weather and you know now this rain's come in and these big winds are coming in and it's gonna rip again tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be fishing tomorrow. You're the man with that little Google Eye jig there, buddy. Boy, that one hit super light. He was just holding on for dear life. He's another good one. He just jumped out there. Now that Google Eye jig is actually makes a little bit of noise as you're working it. Oh yeah, it in. that's a real glass rattle in there. Oh, we're gonna need that net up there, guys. Blake, hand me that net. Okay, here we go, Manny B. Take your time though, buddy. It's, oh, yeah. it's a big bass. Yeah. Oh, yes, so it great. is. Okay, we got Dale back here on the old Netarino. And, ooh, that is another dandy. Look at that bass, man, in this crystal clear Sturgeon Bay area. Not quite as, oh, that is a dandy. Oh, yeah, hey, Dale, come it. on back here, buddy. You know, uh, you and I have been doing this together for 25 years, and you never get tired of seeing these big old fish, don't, right? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Especially in weather like this. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, that is so. just a gorgeous fish. And you know, I got to tell the folks, you guys, this type of bait system, especially with wind and waves, takes a lot of patience. Oh, it? yeah, it's, it's so much finesse, you know, it's really a finesse bite. I keep s still trying, you know, other things and uh, with hard body baits, because typically a day like today is really where the hard body baits will shine and, uh, you know, prevail. But it certainly hasn't been paying off today yeah, as it did the other day, you know, as we did when yeah. we were out the other day. Well, you know what's interesting to me, Matt, is normally when, like Dale said, we got this kind of wind, you know, the, the jerk minnows, the spinner baits and that type of thing, rattle traps, uh, Livingston baits, they're just not, I've tried them all. Yeah, I'm fishing this super slow on these last two fish. And I'll tell you what, when the wind's blowing like this, like Dale said, with these conditions, you have to really pay attention when you're fishing finesse like this. So in other words, Dale, you cast it out, let it go to the bottom and just work it real slow? Real slow and just drag it along the bottom. As a matter of fact, you know, as the water gets colder, when it's really cold, a lot of times you just cast it out and you let it sit. Seriously? Never even move it. Wow. 
Well, I don't have, I'm a type A personality. Yeah, I'm always moving, so right, I, I'm right. having trouble catching fish because <laughs> I can't do that stuff that right. slow. Nice job, Matty Thank B. Thank you. All right, buddy, way to go there, man. Way to go there, buddy. Do not lose this fish. <laughs> Hooked up. Do not lose this fish. I was nope. doing exactly what Dale was just talking about. Yeah, doing it real slow and just varying your retrieve. And and the reward is, is a big, big old bass, right, buddy? Yep. A rod doubled over. A rod doubled over. Again, folks, I, I'm having trouble going as slow as Dale and Matt. And these two guys are some of the best bass fishermen you'll ever meet. Oh, here he is, here he is. Oh, geez, the average size of these fish is just remarkable. That's that's four, isn't it, Dale? It's close. I it, mean, they're, well, it's, you know, it, it's a solid fish. So, it's Dale, before, four, before you go back up front, I do want to ask you to finish that up. So, real slow, and then again, um, you can vary your retrieve, do little pops and... Yeah, and as I said, I don't know if there's, you know, like a right way. Yeah. Right? And I don't think there's a wrong way. I think that the key is when you're out continually trying different things is probably the best. You and I aren't very good slow fishermen, are we? No, we are not. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, though. You put up with four foot waves yesterday. Lots of rain today. How are you holding up? You know, I'm doing okay, but with a crew like this in the boat, it makes it a lot easier. And you know, it's always fun. And Ryan, the photographer, tells jokes and keep us keeps oh, us yeah. laughing through all the rain and the wind. Yeah. It's, it, it, he really is good at that, isn't he? Yep. No matter the weather, we fish, right? Yep. Ryan keeps us laughing. <laughs> hey, John, where does a fish get a loan? Where? The riverbank. Oh, isn't he funny? <laughs> here at Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Whether you're a beginner like myself or have been hunting for years, Fleet Farm has the perfect crossbow for you with no setup needed. Whether you're looking for the crossbow, blades, slings, or scopes, Fleet Farm has it all. Also, the Minnesota Gun Deer Opener is coming up on November 3rd. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time. Because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. What happened with that one? Boy, John, I had that thing sit for like 30 seconds and just moved it a couple inches. And then I let it sit and all of a sudden felt heavy weight. Oh, that's another dandy, Matt. Good net job there, Blake. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> way to go there, Blake Aruni. There we go. No, folks, you just gotta you sit there like that and then just pull a little bit and sit there like that. And uh, that's not as big as the other ones. But what does the bite feel like, Matt? Well, that one was just heavy weight when I went to pull back. And like Dale said, I've, I've been, in the last 15 minutes, I've been changing up my cadence. Big Whoa, here we oh, go. Oh, we got double Hey, 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 hey double I got one. Hey, yeah, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I was sitting there talking to Manny B and I got one. All right, way to go there. Ooh. Okay, get him in that net there. Nice job there, Blake. There you go. Hey, Dale. I caught my first fish on a net rig, Dale. I see that. Nice I hope shot, you're proud man. of me up there, buddy. Hey, 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 there we go. Let's get this out. That, that Google eye jig, though, Matt. You you made me a believer on the walleyes last year, but uh, he just smacked that. Look at that. Hey, Dale, check it out, buddy. Oh, nice job, John. Boy, we do have an advantage in the back of the boat here, don't we? Yeah, there's a sweet spot back there, and unfortunately, we're the only two that can hit it. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that while I'm talking to you and watching you catch a fish, that I also will get a bite. Whoa, oh, a there's a Jim Danderino yeah, there. That is, hey, folks, that is, these are just, I you know, average size. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world. And what do you have to say about Sand Bay Beach Resort? Oh, it's awesome. I slept like a baby and now we're catching smallmouth. Did, did you take a swim in the indoor pool? Nope, I didn't because I got up too late. Hey, right, now Sand Bay Beach Resort, folks, is your fishing headquarters up here in, in Sturgeon Bay and all of Door County. 
And Dale knows these spots, doesn't he? Oh, there's nothing to hop in the boat with him, and, and he puts us on them. Hey, Dad, what time is it? Well, it's time now <laughs> to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2018 Fishing Contest. Franny Rosh of Twin Lakes caught this 38-inch lake trout on Lake Michigan on a spoon. Cassandra Frankie of Kewaskum, Wisconsin, boated this 16-inch crappie on Lake Ruth on a minnow. Jim Dembeck of Heartland, Wisconsin, caught this 49-inch muskie on Lake of the Woods on a homemade bucktail. Ken Phil of Hudson, Wisconsin, caught this 43-inch flathead catfish on the St. Croix River on a flicker shad. And this week's kids winners are Evan Schoenberger of Melrose Park boated this 28-inch walleye on the Bay of Green Bay on a flicker shad. And Cameron Palowski of Bellevue caught this 39-inch northern pike on Kelly Lake on a pink worm. Now I, I better cast out because when, you, when you're catching one, all I, I gotta do is let it sit there, right? Oh, these things pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Ooh, this is a nice fish. Dale, look at this one, Dale. Dale, look at that. Hey, Matty B, there you go, buddy. Jumper. Yeah, yep. And and Dale was telling me that uh, as soon as you get a bite, just set the hook, because the, the smallmouth will actually swallow that thing, and that's a concern, folks. So as soon as you get, as soon as you feel a bite, Matt, you're to set the hook. Set him, get him right in the upper lip, just like that. If you let him swim off with it, you're probably going to kill the fish. Dale Strohshine guides all of Green Bay on a daily basis. For more information, give Dale a call. That phone number is 920-743-5731, 743-5731. The future of boating is here. Now, get all the thrilling performance of an Evan Rudy Tech G2 in the new 150, 175, and 200 horsepower. Bass fishing's fun, but half of these tournaments is like a boat race, trying to beat everybody down the lake. And with that Evan Rudy E-Tech G2, it's like driving a Corvette. That thing is passing everybody. All the best in class torque of the Evan Rudy Tech G2 is now available from 150 to 300 horsepower. This is a whole other level. The G2 is awesome. To learn more, visit EvanRude.com. If you fish, chances are you've used a Mustad hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, oh there man. is the big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? It's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish it. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. Can you?